Hi friends, welcome to your YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be giving the most important and expected questions from GS Paper 1 History section for this year's mains examination which is going to start this weekend. Guys, only 4 days are remaining for this mains examination and it is high time that you start focusing on most important questions which have high probability to come in the exam. So, this video is an attempt to help you focus on those expected questions in the next 4-5 days. Guys, I strongly believe that if you revise these questions, your chances of scoring high in this year's mains examination will increase to a great extent. Let us begin. Guys, first, I will see questions about art and culture which have high probability to come in this year's mains examination. The first question which I have framed is on Hindu temples. Basically, the Hindu temples, apart from being religious, also play the role of social, cultural, and economic centers influencing the lives of the people in the cities and the villages comment. So here you have to discuss the role of Hindu temple, not just religious role, but also their social, cultural, and economical role. The second question, which I believe can come, is about protected monuments. What are protected monuments and discuss various legislation which help in their protection. The third question is on the comparative merit of Arthasastra and Ashokan inscription as a source of administration and socio-economic and religious life of the Mauryan Empire. Guys, if you remember this year already Arthasastra has come in the prelims examination which I had predicted and it came in the prelims. So I have a strong feeling that Artha Sastra and Ashokan inscription can come in this year's mains examination. The next question which has a high probability of coming is the Sarnath Lion Capital. You all know that this has been in news in the last six months. The next question is the architectural style of the Indian Parliament building. In this context, contribution of the Laurie Baker and Lupian to the Indian architecture. Guys, you all know in the last couple of years, because of the Central Vista project, these two names are in news. Their contribution to Indian architecture is of great significance, which can come in this year's mains examination. The next two questions are basically the traditional questions. Okay, they are not like motivated from current events, but they are very important. Why Gupta age is called golden age? And was it really a golden age? The next question I have selected is from Cholan bronze sculptures. Why they are one of the most refined sculptures. The next question which I feel is very important and it has been in news in the last six months is Indian megalithic culture. What kind of material and social life is revealed by this megalithic culture? Next important question is what ecological factors influenced the Harappan civilization growth and demise? Again, Raja Ravi Verma has been in news this year and his contribution to Indian architect, art and architecture and the calendar art, particularly the calendar painting, his contribution to painting, particularly the calendar art is very important. Next, another painter, Abhinandan Tagore, who through his nationalistic paintings, Basically, nationalistic painting started the Bengal art movement. This again is very, very important because I think his 158th anniversary is what we are celebrating. Next is evaluating the impact of Ramanuja and Bhakti movement. Ramanuja's philosophy and his critique of Advait philosophy. If you remember, Ramanuja has also come in this year's prelims because it is in news. So, Bhakti movement has a very high chance to appear in this mains examination. Next, contribution of Indian, ancient India in science and tech can come. Then, Rakhi Gadi excavation has been in news. So, Indus Valley civilization and its trade links can come. Next, as I told you this year, Mauryan Empire is very much important and Mauryan inscriptions, Ashokan inscription have a high probability along with Ashokan pillars. Ashokan pillars 
एंड अशोकन इंस्क्रिप्शन नेक्स्ट बिकॉज ऑफ द कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी सराउंडिंग चरका दिस इयर मेडिसिन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ एंशियंट इंडिया इन मेडिसिन कैन कम कमिंग टू लास्ट पोर्शन ऑफ इंडियन आर्ट एंड आर्किटेक्चर ओके कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ बसावना कैन कम बिकॉज वी ऑल नो दैट this figure has been in use in the last one year then various legislation which protects the cultural wealth of the india and evolution of indian pottery can also come coming to independence struggle coming to independence struggle okay contribution of sri aurobindo can come sri aurobindo was a multi faceted genius a political revolutionary a social reformer a historian an educationist a philosopher a yogi and above all men of letter then significance of gadar movement can come contribution of indian revolutionaries have a high chance to come and then indian partition indian partition who can be held responsible for indian partition what were the factors responsible for indian partition have a high probability to appear in this examination next impact of ina contribution of ina movement is very important because we all know that netaji subhas chandra bose has been in news this year so his contribution and contribution of ina have a high chance to appear in this examination next relationship of peasants movement and national movement they can link because of the farmers protest movement from the social reform movement this year i strongly believe raja ram mohan roy and his contribution why he is called the father of indian renaissance it can come in the examination next indian naval mutiny which is also known as the last nail in the coffin of the british colonial aspirations in india can come contribution of b r ambedkar both in pre and post independent india can come similarly contribution of jawahar lal nehru both in pre and post independence india can come another social reformer shri narayan guru has been in news in revolutionaries bhagat singh and other revolutionaries particularly women revolutionaries is in news this year you all know that many women revolutionaries participated in the revolutionary movement along with the hsra and surya sen chittagong armory raid very important this topic is very very important next tribal uprising during the british rule what were the reasons behind and why these movement were a failure what were the main drawbacks they were not failures but basically what were the weakness of this movement what were the main characteristics of this movement tribal uprisings then discuss the contribution of five tribal leaders guys this year i can tell you tribal uprising is very 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 important very very important please read this particularly i would like to suggest please read it from dipan chandra then discuss of role of women freedom fighters in freedom movement which i was telling you that revol women revolution is very important then workers and peasant movement is very important in the post independent history language controversy official language controversy they can ask you hindi anti hindi protest movement in south india they can ask tribal integration policy which is the panchshil policy they can ask and then the integration of princely states particularly hyderabad junagadh and kashmir can come and contribution of sardar patel in this can come then contribution of vargis kurian and operation flood
has a very high chance to come because of the cooperative movement this year cooperative movement can come in the examination in post independence history then as far as environmental movements are concerned silent valley movement and chipko movement have high chance to come in the examination they can ask you to compare indian environment movement with the western environment movement emergency is an evergreen topic in the post independence india next coming to the world history this year they can ask you a simple question on capitalism and how did covid 19 exposed the capitalism they can also ask you the difference between communism of ussr and china and why did communism in china succeeded whereas communism in ussr did not succeed then questions related to nato can come socialism how it is relevant in fighting covid 19 can also come next league of nations failure to prevent world war 2 can come nationalism in europe during the world war 1 can come how nationalism was responsible for world war 1 next fascist forces various kinds of fascist forces what were the common characteristics then nehru liaquat pact then non aligned movement is very important last year we celebrated 60th anniversary of non aligned movement then the cold war cold war because we are saying now the new cold war has started so what was cold war how did it began how did it end and what was the role of mikhail gorbachev in this can come so my friend these are the topics which you should basically prepare try to brainstorm over them try to prepare these topics in the next 4 5 days i strongly believe many of these questions will come in this year's mains examination thank you take care bye bye